sometimes people that are having a near-death experience, many report experiencing a type of bliss or ecstasy. Why is that? What happens the moment that you are fairly convinced you are about to die? Can you imagine that for a moment? And imagine what flashes in front of your mind, what goes through your head the moment you're about to die. Unfinished business, perhaps. Things you still want to do that you didn't pay as much attention to. You want to prioritize certain things that you didn't give as much credit or value to. But now imagine that there's no way for you to do this anymore in this life and you're actually about to die in this visualization. So you're forced in a way to let go of all the things that you believe are unfinished business, are imperfect moments. But also, the ecstatic realization that there's nothing you have to do anymore. Suddenly, the effort and strive disappears. And the ecstasy of spirit starts to enter your being, starts to enter your body, even your mind. Your mind's eye is cleansed, and you see the perfection, the completion of your life as it is. See how perfect you've already been doing. See how complete of an experience, of an experiment, of a play, of a learning experience this has already been. With all of its perceived imperfections, with all of its perceived incompletenesses, with all of its perceived flaws. And see that actually from this bigger perspective, that was all part of the experiment. That was all part of the journey, that was all part of the unique theme of expressing yourself, expressing consciousness in a particular way. They're all adding to the bigger expression of life. They're all adding to the expansion of the universe in a unique way. And the one blinks neither at the light nor the dark, neither at success or failure. It embraces all as an expression of its infinite possibilities. Know this, feel this, and let go of all stress and strive and judgment and blame. Your only option at the moment of death is to continue to fight or surrender completely all arrogance that you have developed over the years. All arrogance, all strive, let all strive disappear. Let all sense of incompleteness disappear. Let all sense of doership and what remains to be done disappear. Let all to-do lists disappear. Let all problems fade into nothingness, into complete ecstatic union with spirit. And at the moment of your death, you will see this, but you can see this now. You see, every moment is a perfect addition to the perfect expression of all that is. And you cannot change how perfect it is. This universe, as it continues to learn and grow and expand, upon the different ways in which it experiences itself, is already essentially complete, and the vastness of all that it can be is already accomplished. The one infinite creator is not concerned. It is not worried. It does not fret. It does not judge. It does not perceive lack, sin, guilt, shame, mistakes. It only ever sees that all of itself in its already accomplished state is only ever expressing and exploring and growing into building new relationships from more points of view within its infinite expression of oneness. All you need to know is that you and everything you desire and everything that you truly are are already one being. You are already loved. You are already complete. Go with the flow. 
attend to your vibration by feeling as good as you can, by knowing that life is on your side, by knowing that everything is infinite, by knowing that you are worthy because there is only one and you are its desired creation. You are its desired co-creation portion. You are completely, absolutely worthy of everything you desire and everything you desire is immediately activated within the field of your consciousness and it tries naturally effortlessly to attract and bring into your life all the things that you are inspired to experience. The universe wants what you want for yourself. Because there is no difference between what the universe wants and what you truly desire. It is the same one flow. In fact, it is the universe, it is the greater self that makes you feel desire to begin with. When you simply trust, when you simply trust in the natural timing of ease, when you trust in the power that is within the ease of being here now and maintaining only non-maintenance, you will know more of who you are and you will know it in an instant. The absolute knowingness of who you are, which is unconditional light, which is infinite light, which is infinite worth, which is endless love, which is perfect forgiveness always, all the time, already accomplished here and now. Perfection, timeless perfection is what you are. You will know that. You will just know, you will feel. And through the feeling state of bliss, through the feeling state of liberation, through the experiential vibrational state of knowing the love light, the higher densities of love light that are innate to your spirit consciousness. When you let that ease take over, when you take over with ease, Ease will take over your life and the manifestations that will be brought to you within the time span of even 48 hours will blow your mind. So prioritize the vibrational feeling that you have in this moment because it will determine the next few hours of your physical experience. It will be obvious that you can create your future and attract the future you desire through ease, through joy, through trust, through faith, through openness, through expansion, through love, through passion. The degree to which you are ready to trust is the degree to which you'll accelerate how deeply, how intimately you'll know your indestructible connection to your true self. More and more intelligent, more and more vibrant, more and more abundant, more and more living in ease, through ease and by ease generate a reality that matches the dreams that you knew you came here to create. So honor what you feel, honor what you want, honor what feels amazing because all that you desire is what all that is desires of itself. There is no other. Because there is only one, one is all and all is one. When you die, you will know peace. When you die, you will know bliss. When you die, you will know joy. There is no other way. Die before you die. So that you can start to live before you die.